Hi Stampers, welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in BV, Indiana. And today I have some cards to share with you that I made using a new Stampin' Up! stamp set called What's Cookin'. Here are the cards. I have one in a granny apple green. And then in the Poppy Parade, Pacific Point, and the Mango Melody. So today, we'll put together one of these cards. We'll do this one, but we'll do it in Mango Melody. And as you can see, there is the stamp set and there are dies, and I will show you those. Here's the stamp set. Has a nice mixing bowl, a wooden spoon, a spatula, knife, a rolling pin, measuring cup, salt and pepper shakers. Those all have dies. And then the celery, mushroom, and little cherry tomato, and the little chef's hat do not, but they would be easy to fussy cut if you'd like. And then there are some sentiments. And then here are the dies. And on this, there's a cutting board and like a little pancake flipper, I also call that a spatula, and a whisk that there is not a stamp for, but they're really cute cut it, die cut out. Here's the little whisk. I just die cut it out of uh, basic white and took a Poppy Parade a Stampin' Blend and a the, I believe that was the dark, and then the smoky slate light to color the little whisk part. So there it is, right there. And that, as I said, can be found in the new catalog, and it's on page 34. And there are some really cute samples as well, sample cards. And right here, it shows a, a good idea. It looks to me as to be a recipe card, and I thought that might be a nice gift to make for Christmas or um, for someone who's getting married or just for a birthday for someone who likes to cook. Just make uh, several recipe cards and um, bundle them up real cute and maybe include a few recipes. So there is that. And then these cards, they're absolutely not fancy. There's nothing hard about them at all. Like I said, this one has the little um, whisk that was die cut. And the little pepper shaker was, or pepper grinder, I guess. It was stamped and die cut as well. These were just stamped and colored with the Stampin' Blends. And... This one, I just stamped the What's Cooking, stamped these on basic white, and die cut them. And this one is a combination. I stamped my um, greeting. This is die cut, and this is die cut, while this is stamped. And then, like I said, the card we're making today is simply stamped. And the thing all these cards have in common, other than being made with the same stamp set, is I use the exact same card layout. And it's a really simple card layout. The Whisper, or I'm sorry, not the Whisper White, we're now having Basic White. And it measures two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then it has a mat that measures three by three and a half. Each of them has the exact same layout done just maybe slightly different as you can see you can put the focal image in a portrait orientation or in a landscape orientation and your card could be the portrait orientation or a landscape orientation doesn't matter the um 
measurements will all be the same. And all the measurements and supply lists for these cards will be on my blog. And down below this video in the description, you will find the link to that blog. So, as I said, we're going to make this card together. Only we're going to do it with Mango Melody. So, let's get started. As I said, you're going to need the piece of basic white that measures two and three quarters by three and a quarter, and then a piece of Mango Melody cardstock that measures three by three and a half, and then you will need a piece of Designer Series paper, and this is the six by six um, Designer, Seri pa Designer Series paper in the brights, and this is the Mango Melody, of course, and it is four by five and a quarter, and then a whisk, or I'm sorry, basic white card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. So the first thing we'll do is some stamping, and we will need some um, soft suede and some mango melody. And the first thing we'll stamp is our greeting. Stamp it right in the upper left hand corner. There we go. And then we'll need the soft suede. Put this one away. And we'll do the spoon first. It's sort of the easiest. I'm just going to stamp it down here. I think for this one, I might have stamped the soft white, stamped it off, but I sort of like it darker with the mango melody. So the next, we are doing the um, pepper grinder and the salt shaker. And the way I did those, just did them one at a time. Let's see if I can do this without getting my head in the way. So I just inked it, just the one side. stamped it where I wanted it and now I need to clean that stamp really well and then I just stamp a few times on some scrap paper to make sure it's nice and dry and if there's any other ink it's all gone because now we're going to ink up the salt shaker And we'll stamp it right here. There we go, and that's all the stamping for this card. Put that away. Now all we need is a little bit of Stampin' Seal to put this card together. this on its mat And there we go, and we'll use a few dimensionals to put this on our card front. Take these backings off. That's th that one was already off. centered as best as we possibly can. Lay it down more carefully. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And there we go. Quick and easy card. So there's the Granny Apple Green. 
And then there's the Poppy Parade. And then the Pacific Point. And again, the um, Mango Melody. So like I said, this is a just a real quick and easy card. You can make it more elaborate if you like by adding the die cuts. Um, but this basic card layout is something I go to often. Um, this focal piece is sort of an off size and then it doesn't go by the quarter inch or quarter inch or quarter inch. Like, you know, for us, this card front is five and a half by four and a quarter and then this is um, five and a quarter by four. So it's just a little off, but I think it adds just a tad bit of interest to the cards. Again, everything as far as the measurements and the supplies for these cards will be on my blog. And again, you can find that in the description of this video below. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, stamp happy.